Hey guys, it's Alyssa. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, then I post singing videos like covers and original songs on my other channel, Music by Allie. And on this channel, I post story times, challenges, all that jazz. So subscribe, join the Allie crew. And today, I am going to be reading my old diary. For privacy purposes, I'm not going to be reading every entry. I just picked three that I thought were kind of juicy. And I'm going to be using code names just to respect other people's privacy as well. So let's get right into the video. special guest with me, my nameless bear, <laughs> and she's going to be reading the stories with me as well. This is the diary. I think it's really pretty. I got it as a gift for, I think, Christmas when I was in fourth grade, maybe. <laughs> so this first entry that I'm going to read is from 2016. Dear Love's Diary, I'm happy for my sister, the fact that she got her own smartphone, but now that she can watch YouTube, has a Snapchat, she constantly makes up and constantly makes acapellas and occasionally musically her Alyssa time has been isolated so basically this entry is about how I was starting to feel a little jealous when my sister got her first smartphone because I felt like she wasn't spending a lot of time with me I feel isolated and what I hate the most about my relationship with my sister is that I feel like I love my sister way more than she loves me guys I was really dramatic back then I know that this is not true at all. And with her going to a really challenging, nerdy, prestigious school, I also went to that nerdy school, <laughs> her minimized free time is spent with her phone. Most times I talk to her, she isn't listening, and I just move on, but today I know I had to let my feelings out somehow when she was making an acapella and plainly told me to be quiet. Then later she was on YouTube and she told me to be quiet again. I have just had it. At this point, I would literally want to burn that phone, but I would never do something like that to her because I love her. But question is, how much of that love does she return? So obviously I don't feel the way I did when I was writing this entry. I mean, I have my own phone and I understand how addicting it can be. And it was just when she got her first phone, but I was really dramatic and really deep for such a young age. The next entry that I'm going to read is from 2017. Dear Diary, It has been almost a year since I wrote in this thing, and I admit, I was getting along just fine without it. <laughs> that is so mean. I know that the diary doesn't have feelings, but that is very mean to say to my diary. But I absolutely need to vent about what happened today. Okay, so basically, I have a crush on this boy in my third period class. I've liked him since the end of September. I started liking him the day I looked into his beautiful, hazel eyes. Ew. I know it sounds corny, but I'm literally head over heels for Jason Thomas. That's my code name. Um, I guess I didn't finish this entry because I said I needed to vent, but... That's literally all I wrote. I don't know what I was gonna complain about. I guess probably that he found out that I liked him based on the date. But basically the backstory back then, I thought I was being so unobvious, but I literally drew a picture of him and gave it to him. I don't know how he couldn't have known that I liked him. The last entry that I will be reading today in this video, and let me know if you want a part two, is the longest entry. I wrote this in 2020. Dear Diary, I haven't written in you in forever. This year has been crazy. 2020 marked the turn of a new decade, a beginning, but man, this decade kicked off on a rocky note. True. First, this global pandemic called the coronavirus broke out. Before this, I didn't even know the word pandemic existed. I honestly didn't even really understand what quarantine meant until the whole world was forced to do it in uh, do it for over a month. Now masks are worn as if they're the newest fashion trend. The second half of the last semester of middle school was completely online but don't even get me started on digital learning. Long story short, it sucked. However, another thing that has come about nowadays is Zoom, a video calling app that came in handy for, ho for holding meetings from home. Whoever created Zoom must be making a profit. <laughs> but what I really was disappointed about was not getting to perform in my school's musical. I had gone into theater from seventh grade and truly fell in love with it. But to top it off, I actually had a decent role in this it, this year. We were doing Into the Woods, and I got to be the evil stepmother, but we never got to do the play because of the lockdown. It was two weeks from show night, from opening night, 
and adrenaline was up. An out of school rehearsal had actually been scheduled for the Friday after we'd gotten the word about lockdown. The theater family had held out hope that we would get to go back to school before the end of the school year, but fast forward to when I'm writing this entry, no such thing came to be. I also miss my friends, but this but this time at home has really let me reflect and recognize who my true friends are. Ooh, tea. <laughs> I've also formed a closer relationship with God, and I enjoy conversations with Him when I feel like no one else will understand me. That's true. Quarantine is actually the time where I really tapped into my Christianity and became a born-again Christian, so that's just a fun fact. Lastly, I feel like 8th grade year has allowed me to mature in general. No more looking at Instagram models and crying. No more posting my problems and, on <laughs> and insecurities on a black screen with paragraphs on Snapchat. My advice to anybody in middle school who's watching this or anybody who's probably younger than me, don't post your feelings on a black screen on social media. The thing is, most people who are looking at their story are just tapping through, they're not even paying attention, and so when you see people not responding to your feelings, you're gonna feel bad about it. I'm saying this because I, there was a time where I would, when I was in middle school, and I would post all of my feelings, and then I'd be wondering, why is nobody responding? Why does nobody seem to care? It's not that people don't care, they just... When people on social media, they're not trying to take on other people's problems. Also, just out of self-respect, you don't want to be having your private business out there. No more pushing my feelings in guys' faces. Yeah, that was a bad habit that I had. Recently, I've actually learned to be content with the life that I have. I used to, I used to immaturely say to myself, my love life is so, it's too uneventful and boring. Why not spice it up? And I try to make things happen that were really out of my control. I finally have learned to accept that we mortals don't know and cannot control God's timeline. I'll find the right guy in God's time and not my own. There is this guy though, we're gonna call him Mark Davis. Mark Davis, and I really do like him. It's not just his looks, although he has gorgeous blue ocean eyes. I can't believe that I wrote this quasi recently and I wrote such a cringy line. Anyway, most of the guys that have liked in the past had a more boisterous personality. Is that a word? Let me know in the comments if boisterous is a word. I don't even, I put that there. I don't, if it, if it is a word, I don't even think I spelled it right. But Mark had, at, um, at least with what I've seen with him, has a more quiet, sincere vibe. And he can joke about his flaws, but they don't seem to consume him or how he looks at things. I don't even agree with everything that he says to me, but I like that he has his own perspective and will stand by it without coming off as hard-headed. I probably sound like I know a whole lot about him, but I really don't. I met him from musical rehearsals and only started talking to him in March. But back to my point, I got a little carried away. I do still have impulses to make things more interesting and rock the boat, but the difference now is that I hold back. If it's really meant to be, it will be without interference, because guys don't even like a girl who's thrown, who's thrown in their faces. They like the chase. So that's always what I've been taught. I don't know if that's true. If you're a guy watching this, I highly doubt there are a lot of guys watching this, but let me know. Is it true that you guys like the chase? But now, for the reason I even came to this, di to this diary, I feel a little bummed. I made a music video for an acapella song that I made, and I was genuinely proud of it for what it was considering the work that I put into it from recording a song that I wrote and arranged myself of only vocals to choreographing a dancing video with my cousin filming to edit the video to editing the video, sorry I actually loved the video, not gonna lie I was so hyped that I decided to send it to a few people early I definitely regret it everyone who I shared it with who I shared it with who responded all had something negative to say or seemed genuinely underwhelmed. Deflated is the correct term to describe my feelings. I remember that my mom had told me at a time when I didn't even need the advice. The important thing is that you like it, but I do like it. I guess that's what matters. And in terms of how I look at myself, God's validation is the only validation that I need. Man, I wish that I had this energy going through <laughs> things in my current life. I mean, at the end of the day, yes, God's validation is the only validation that I need, and I'm already validated by God. That's what I truly believe, but sometimes it's easy to fall into insecurity as any adolescent. But basically what this entry was about was that, other than the things that I already explained, I had released a music video, it's now been taken down from my channel, it was on my music channel, but I honestly... I really don't like that music video now. I tried to do acapella. 
operative word here, tried. And I tried to dance, but I really can't dance. I would love to take classes, but for the time being, I cannot dance. And it, the video is honestly really embarrassing to me. It got over a thousand views, which is a lot for a small YouTuber like me. But it's been taken down now. But basically what I was saying is I shared it with people, and I guess they were seeing in the video what I see in it now. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more videos like this, more just sit down videos. And I love you guys, and I'm out.